If you're anything like me, you've spent years looking for that one mouse that you love using for absolutely everything. Well, the Logitech MX Master 3S might just be that mouse. Looking back, I should have picked up an MX Master years ago, but £120 for a mouse always felt a little bit hard to justify. That is until I actually started using this one, and now I see just how important it is to get a mouse that really brings joy and lifts your mood when you're doing any kind of work. Now, if you are going to spend that much money on a mouse, then you better hope that it has some killer features and a premium design, and the MX Master 3S really lives up to both of those counts. Although it's made out of plastic, the 3S feels really nice in the hand. The thumb rest adds comfort and control, while these ridges give the mouse a nice grip. The fact that you can charge the mouse while working is such a relief too, but you won't really have to worry about running out of charge too often because Logitech claims that this thing can last up to 70 days of use. There aren't too many differences between this mouse and its predecessor, the MX Master 3, and I'll be honest, I mainly got it because I like the pale grey version. I thought it would look a little bit more harmonious with the rest of my desk setup. Other than that, it does have an 8000 DPI compared to a 4000 DPI on the 3. That does make this mouse a lot more responsive, but for productivity tasks, you're probably not going to notice it. One thing you will notice is just how quiet the click is on this mouse. Logitech claim that the 3S is 90% quieter than the 3, and it is pretty silent. As someone who does enjoy the auditory feedback of my keyboard, I wasn't expect to appreciate this feature, but using it in real life, so being able to discreetly click the mouse whenever I'm delivering a presentation, or just need to look at some reference material in the middle of a big call, is actually a major plus for me. Where this mouse really comes into its own though is for scrolling, and there are two scrolling features that I absolutely love. First up is what I would call an infinity scroll along the vertical axis. Spin the wheel one time and it will keep scrolling until you stop. If you need a little bit more control, you can always switch out of this mode, but I stay in there all the time. I'm often working on lengthy Excel sheets or big PDFs that I have to cycle through, and this mouse is really making life a lot easier for me. Of course, you also have horizontal scroll, and this is a big reason that a lot of video editors pick up the MX Master 3 as well. But again, it's also brilliant for apps like Excel, Google Sheets, or even Notion, where you have to navigate left and right across big tables. It's not quite as intuitive as the horizontal swipe gesture on a Magic Mouse, but I am starting to find that muscle memory kicking in and making the 3S really practical in my workflow. Device switching is something else that I really appreciate about this mouse, especially because Logitech is quite slow to optimize its software for new Apple features and universal control still has some issues. Luckily, it can pair with up to three devices at any one time and you just have to flip the mouse over and press one button to cycle through all of them. So it's really practical. Back to the top of the mouse and there are seven buttons in total that you can customize to your heart's content. The MX Master Series is compatible with Logitech's Options Plus app that allows you to set different commands for each button on the mouse. You can even set up different modes with various calibrations and it can automatically switch between those depending on the app that you're using. I have two setups at the moment, one daily driver and one for Final Cut Pro. In terms of my productivity workflow, I have quick screenshot button when I press down on the scroll wheel and then I've got the side buttons programmed for copy and paste values, which again is really handy when working in Excel. On the thumb pad, I have mission control, which is my main way of switching between windows on my Mac. And I've left the other ones as pretty standard, left, right click, switch between the scroll modes because realistically, they're the essentials. This app is separate to Logitech's G Hub, which works alongside their gaming mice. So it's a bit annoying that I have to have two different Logitech apps on my computer for that, but I can live with it. The real question is whether the MX Master 3S is really worth £120. I'd say yes, as long as you're not upgrading from the MX Master 3. And actually, if you look on Amazon, you can get really good deals on that now that the 3S has been released. The way I see it, you're spending eight hours a day using your mouse. And in a way, along with your keyboard, it's the most tactile way that you interact with your computer. So you may as well have an enjoyable experience while you're doing that that's gonna keep you in a good mood and lift your spirits throughout the day. This is the best mouse that I've ever used. And for that reason, it has to go down as a piece of intentional tech. If you're wondering what the story was behind that keyboard as well, then check out this video next and I'll see you in a bit.